conjugate prior for a binomial likelihood, single observation. A posterior distribution is proportional to the likelihood distribution times the prior distribution. The likelihood is a binomial with parameters n and theta. We can write this distribution as the probability of x given n and theta is equal to n choose x theta to the power of x 1 minus theta to the power of n minus x. The theta represents the probability of success and is a value between 0 and 1. x represents the number of successes. n represents the total sample size. The binomial distribution is a member of the natural exponential family of distributions. Therefore, it has a conjugate prior. The limits of theta for a binomial distribution is between 0 and 1. For the conjugate prior, the theta has to be valid for the same limits. Another member of the natural exponential family of distributions with the same limits for theta is the beta distribution. If we choose the beta distribution as the conjugate prior for a binomial distribution, if it times the two distributions, their results will have to be proportional to another beta distribution. If this is the case, then indeed the beta distribution is a conjugate prior for the likelihood. So let's choose our prior to be the beta distribution with parameters alpha and beta. So we can write the distribution as follows. Probability of x given alpha and beta is equal to gamma of alpha plus beta over gamma of alpha times gamma of beta times x to the power of alpha minus 1 times 1 minus x to the power of beta minus 1. The x needs to be swapped with theta because theta is the sample parameter for the binomial distribution. Rewriting this, we will have the following. Writing out the formula, the posterior is proportional to the likelihood times the prior. Because it's proportional to, we can simply ignore the constants. This will make our calculations much simpler. So we will only keep the terms with the theta in them. From the binomial likelihood, we will take theta to the power of x times 1 minus theta to the power of n minus x. From the beta prior, we will use theta to the power of alpha minus 1 times 1 minus theta to the power of beta minus 1. Simplifying this, we will have theta to the power of alpha plus x minus 1 times 1 minus theta to the power of beta plus n minus x minus 1. And we can see that this has the form of a beta distribution. So we can write this as being proportional to beta with parameters alpha plus x and beta plus n minus x. As a conclusion, the posterior is a beta distribution with parameters alpha plus x and beta plus n minus x. Writing this out completely, this is equal to gamma of alpha plus x plus beta plus n minus x, which simplifies to alpha plus beta plus n, over gamma of alpha plus x times gamma of beta plus n minus x times theta to the power of alpha plus x minus 1 times 1 minus theta to the power of beta plus n minus x minus 1.